Welcome to a short tutorial on how to use Cinebench R23 for stress testing your CPU. We already touched on the benchmarking section of the program in another video that you can find in the info cards. This video is concerned about the stress test option that was introduced in the R23 version of Cinebench. When you either overclocked or undervolted your CPU, you would want to stress test to see if it is stable, i.e. not crashing. By default the stress test option is not showing up on the interface. You need to activate it by going to File and then select Advanced Benchmarks. Now you will see that a new section appears that says Minimum Test Duration. When you click it you will have two options. The first one is 10 minutes and is for testing throttling, meaning if your CPU is throttling its speed due to high temperatures. And the second one is 30 minutes and it is for stability testing. Since you are here for stability or rather stress testing you should select the second option. Following that, click on Start in the multi-core section above and get yourself a cup of tea. Ideally, you will now have 30 minutes to spend. You can always see how long the test is still running by the running timer on the upper left hand corner. During the stability test session, you should monitor your temperatures and especially if your CPU is throttling because of too high temperatures. We recommend HWinfo for that task. Check the linked video for a quick and gentle introduction for that very helpful tool. Finally, a few things to take away from this stability testing. The first and most obvious one is that the gigahertz shown might not reflect the overclocking you achieved, so don't be confused. The second takeaway is that you shouldn't rely on Cinebench stress test for test stability alone. You might also want to check the classic Prime95 and in case you have an Intel CPU, the Intel burn test. Both are linked in the info cards. In recent times Intel burn test is a more convenient choice for a number of people that don't want to run a 24 or 48 hour stress test. The third takeaway is that even though stress tests are important to see if your CPU or rather whole system is stable, there might be scenarios where it is not in everyday use like gaming or video editing. So there might be a chance, even though a very slim one, that the system is stable in regard to Cinebench or Prime95, but it clocks out at gaming. I've had that problem myself, the system was stable with Prime95, but it crashed randomly playing Battlefield 5. Memtest finally revealed faulty RAM that for some reason was not an issue with stability testing. So please take the results of Cinebench stress test with a grain of salt and run at least a second stress test like Prime95 or the Intel burn test. And finally, don't forget your RAM.